OpenAI dropped two brand new open source GPT models and they are a total game changer. For the first time, you can run GPT level power directly on your own computer, fully private, fully under your control, without racking up your API costs. With these new models, you are not just chatting with AI, you are running it locally inside your own workflow. Integrate into any end, you can fetch data, analyze it, and generate content, or even take action across all your tools within one single automation. In this video, I will show you how to set them up, how to connect them into NAN, and how to actually put them to work solving real AI automation use cases. These are part of GPT OSS project, aka the GPT open source series. They come in two sizes. First, GPT OSS 20B a 20 billion parameter model that's fast, lightweight, and great for chat, tool calling, and reasoning tasks. GPT OSS 120B, a huge 120 billion parameter model that rivals GPT-4 in summarization, coding, and multi-stack reasoning. The best part about all this is that they're completely open source you get the full access of all these models with no paywall, no gatekeeping. That means you can run it yourself, customize it however you like it, and never have to worry about API limits. This works because of something called the mixture of X, a design where the model only uses the part where it's needed instead of firing all its parameters every time. The 120B model does not actually activate 120 billion parameters every time. It only routes about 5.1 billion parameters per token. That makes it way more efficient than you would expect for a model this size. And add to that, there's 128,000 token context window, and you've got something powerful enough for long documents and memory heavy workflow. For automation builders like us, this means no API costs eating into any margins, full control over contacts and outputs, and the option to run it locally via third-party providers like Open Router. Let's get into the setup. First, you need two environments on your machine. The number one is Docker, the run NAN and local Postgres database. The number two is Alama, which will run the GPT OSS model. So first of all, head over to docker.com and install Docker Desktop. Then head over to olama.com and install Olama. Once you've got that, those two installed, Olama will let you choose and download GPT OSS 20B right from its menu. That's the model we'll start since it can run on most computers today. Next, grab the Docker Compose file via the link under the description below. This file works just like a recipe. It will tell Docker exactly what to do, like start up NAN, start up Postgres, and it will connect the two so your workflow and data can be stored locally. Once you've got the file saved into your desktop, open terminal like so, and navigate to your desktop by typing CD desktop. Then move it into the folder where the file is saved. In my case, is doc cd docker, so I'll do it. Finally, run the command docker compose up. That's where everything starts to kick in. And if everything works, you will see green dots like so in your docker desktop. Open the NAN service and you get a local host link. And that means your NAN instance is ready to go. Inside NAN, create a workflow and add an AI agent node. At first, it will throw an error but that's okay because it needs a model to connect to. So you click chat model, create new credentials and choose Olama. For the base URL, instead of localhost, set it to host docker.internal, save that. And now you can choose GPT OSS 20B. Test it and you will see responses coming directly from the model running on your computer. No API key, no fees, and it's fully private. If your computer is not strong enough to run this locally, that's okay because you have an alternative 
aka Open Router. With Open Router, you can just create an account, add credits, and generate an API key. Then within NAN, so about Olama node for an Open Router chat model, paste your API key that you just create, save it, and then you can pick GPT OSS 20B or 120B from their menu. This is a great way to test heavy models like 120B without needing massive GPU. Now, let's put this all into practice. First, we will test some of the basic prompts, asking the differences between GPT OSS and GPT-4, or generating a tweet thread about the history of AI. The responses are long, structured, and perfectly usable for workflow like summarization and content creation. But the real power shows up when we let the model summons the tool inside NNM. Now, it's not perfect. When testing the 20B model, I noticed it sometimes sent multiple emails instead of one. But that's the limitation of a smaller models in a complex two calling scenarios. The fix is to use the 120B model via Open Router. It is stronger, more reliable, and handles two calls with better positions. When I switched to 120B and rerun the email workflow, it executes cleanly. One email, accurate content, and it's done. For example, when I connect this Google Sheet database, which contains all my contact information with the right system prompt, the agent can actually look up a person's email and then use the send email node to draft and send a message, all within the NAN workflow. That's the kind of automation you can start to layer. Using operations like, like read, read reason, reason, fetch, fetch and, and act. act. And remember, and remember this, this is, is all powered, powered by, by an open, open source, source GPT. GPT. And that, and that concludes, concludes how to run, run OpenAI's open new, new open, open source, source GPT, GPT models, models locally. locally. Fully, Fully connected to your, your N -N -N environment where you, where you can build, build tests and, and solve, solve real automation, automation use cases. cases. If you, if you find, find this helpful and you, and you want, want more tutorials that go deep, deep into, into practical, practical AI, AI workflows, workflows, make sure, make sure to subscribe, subscribe to this channel. channel. Every, Every week, week we, break we break down, down real automation, automation that you can learn, replicate and put to work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.